Welcome back. I'm Chanel. And I'm Chanel. And this is Chanel and Chanel, where book talk meets culture. Where our mission is to share accessible, culturally relevant, and engaging books that would support and help reluctant or struggling readers. Yep. So today's book we have is Genesis Begins Again. Yes. So I had so much fun, mm. emotional <laughs> stress reading this book. <laughs> really? Yes. Emotional let's stress. Let, okay. let's, let's give a summary of what this book is about. So it's about a young girl in middle school. Her name is Genesis. Um, and she has to really deal with the ins and outs of being the new kid constantly at school, trying to fit in, make friends. Um, she's facing a lot of stuff like eviction, alcoholism with her parent, a parent, parent yeah. um, verbal abuse. Mm -hmm. um, and on top of that, yeah. like there's issues of racism, colorism mm -hmm. in the book. And it's dealt with not only from her peers, but also within her family. Mm -hmm. yes. And the colorism doesn't come from the outside, like white society, this is within the black community that mm -hmm. she's experiencing this. So it's, a very, it's very much a different take yeah. on what you normally see as or hear when you think of like colorism. So yeah. that's a lot of things that she's struggling throughout. And as a middle schooler, she's just struggling with the everyday life of being in middle school. I read this book and I'm like, oh, this is why I'm happy I'm not in middle school or high school, school anymore. Middle school is always <laughs> awkward. You're still trying to figure out who you are. And on top of that, she's dealing with a lot of home dynamics and then also not really loving the skin that she's in. Right. So she comes from a two-parent household in which her mom is of a light, lighter tone than she is and her dad is very dark. Um, and she... she gets her complexion more from her dad and her features more from her dad. And internally in the book, they talk about the dynamics of the history of why this is such a big topic and taboo in her family, family. itself mm -hmm. and how her mother's family think about um, people of darker the skin tones tone. and you know how they felt they were better than other blacks because of their the skin. skin. Yeah. Yes, and the brown paper bag. There's a lot of uh, crunchy <laughs> moments in this book, like... Black people putting paper bags next to other black people That's to see crazy. if they are yeah. light, light enough. enough. Yeah. So yeah, and then how she even deals with that, how she she tries sex or tries to accept who she is, learn to love the skin that she's in. Um, yeah. It's it's a lot, and then she gets into this new school in the suburbs. You know, a culture that's away from her own because she's originally from Detroit, and just navigating how mm -hmm. she's viewed as a black girl in this school, Ooh. how she really views herself. Because I feel like she deals with a lot of internal complex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's, she's one of few black students in the urban school, but even within the black students, she still really struggles about how black she is. Mm -hmm. Like, so that's, that's something that, a dynamic that's very interesting throughout the book. And fitting in, and she takes some drastic extreme measures to in order to make sure that her... Her skin becomes lighter. Yeah. It, it kind of took me back into the high school a little bit. Like, I don't feel like I knew anybody personally, but I knew that there were a lot of measures taken into appearance when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. Whether it was either skin, I actually, it, it, it brought me back to some, it brought me back to people who did use lightning creams. And I do mm -hmm. think I remember that happening in high school. Yeah. And I also remember like hair, relaxing your hair, and because relaxers were still very popular when we were in high school, but there were a few, very few students who had um, natural hair. Now natural hair is like, natural unstraightened hair is very popular, but back then it wasn't. And I do remember the dynamics of being a student without a perm or yeah. relaxer yeah. and the, the challenges that they mm -hmm. felt or faced in yeah. high school. So. Yeah. so in this book, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of heavy topics. I think the author takes you through this heartfelt way of like if you have a lot of compassion for the character and then something happens and then you feel like frustrated and angry for her and then you feel compassion again and again you get emotionally involved mm -hmm. you're like emotionally on a roller coaster right and the, the dynamics that she longs for and that relationship she longs for with her father is just heartbreaking Breaking, yeah it, yeah. It's heartbreaking. I like that the author, even though this is a middle grade book, didn't stray away from the realities of what's really going on in people's lives, you mm -hmm. know? And she's longing for this relationship with her father and the measures and means she's willing to take in order for her and 
to accept her, mm -hmm. you know, and he's struggling with his own abuse. And, yeah. um, and the mom is struggling with really being there and being supportive to, or what she thinks is support, support to her husband. husband. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. lot, but it's so, it's so, so, so good, good. Yeah. in the sense that it, it, it just really relates and it's really, really relatable. Yeah, hangs on to like not sugarcoating things. Right, right, right. Which I think is needed. So let us step into the ace of yes. this book. So is it accessible? I liked, I think it, it could be, I think it's great for middle school, high school readers. Mm -hmm. I think that um, the content deals with, um, the content, content, even though it's very heavy, it's a, you're able to read it accessible and move through it very quickly, like very easily. As I was reading it, I felt like, wow, this is a great book. I felt like when I was a student, I needed this book. Mm -hmm. I felt like when I, like, no offense to um, the whole Huckleberry Finn and the Catcher in the Ride and all those things. I think I'm talking about the relatability, like, but I'm just thinking, like, it made, this book made it more accessible to me because I felt like it was very relatable. I feel like I hope that educators are taking the time to take these books like mm -hmm. not dismiss the classics but bring in these books because these books are way more relatable than huckleberry finn like i remember in high school reading huckleberry finn i was like no wonder i can't i couldn't Ruth relate the slave. Ruth, like hello the one black character in the book you know <laughs> yeah but so, it wasn't even about the black character it, it was just that it was a time period that's so removed mm -hmm. from anything that we ever experienced and i'm like thinking in my head wow like you could stop and say, hmm, I struggle to read and comprehend that book, but is it some of the comprehension that maybe, or some of the aspect of it is that it was so irrelevant mm -hmm. to my time period, so irrelevant to my experiences that it was hard to relate to it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So I think like books like this, I hope it's getting in the hands of uh, students today because it's way more relevant and definitely mm -hmm. more engaging. And the power of friendship in this book also makes it something that... Um you know, well, we already went kind of, we're going into like more the engagement and the, you know, access, well, we're talking about the accessibility of it. It's accessible and that the content's so relevant that you can read more. Even if there's words that you struggle with or some students may come across that they're like, ugh, it's like, it's fast paced in the dynamics in which it's written. Yeah, she jumped right in. Like, you know, sometimes you take um, some time getting into a book, like, no, by um, page one, you're like, like you're in wow. it. You're in the middle of her story. You're not, you don't have to wait too long for the story to build up, which is great. I love mm -hmm. books that do that. It yeah. just makes you go straight into it. No, yeah, there's no long, big, long, long history reveal. It's in the action right. immediately. immediately yeah. You're in it by page two. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, when it comes to culturally relevant, like we said, um, there's a lot of heavy topics, but there's also a powerful dynamic of friendship in this um, that I think is really great. And um, it's really relevant in that we can all relate to some issue or some body image where we're like, oh, you wish this was different about yourself yeah. and that. And like, what did you do as a person? Like the extremes or the measures that you think about in like middle school age, high school age that you would take to um, overcome or to like fix those problems. Right. So it's relatable. And the, the story concludes in a way that makes you realize that, you know, regardless of how you look, that you are still beautiful. Right. You know, regardless. Beauty Definitely. really sets from within. Mm -hmm. So, and it's the eye of beholder. Like, I was reading this book. Janelle could tell you, when she met the, the guy, I was like, girl, she about to get her. Yeah, yeah she came in. I was like, like, so excited for her. And I realized, like, see, what she thought was beautiful, the guy that was her friend, he actually saw her as beautiful mm, and yeah. really was, like, yeah. wanting to accept her. And I think sometimes girls that look don't look the norm of what people think is beautiful in media, you know, they don't really feel like, you know, guys be coming at them or, you know. <laughs> So I've, I was excited for her, and I know that there are, in real life, people that people will relate. accept your beauty yeah, and, uh, the way you look. Yeah, yeah and relate to her story. Mm -hmm. So engagement, definitely. I felt like I was at, constantly, when I read the book, I was telling Chanel, you're going to love this one. You're going to love this one. This one is so relatable. I wish I had this book when I was in school. This is, mm -hmm. like, I could relate to so much of Genesis story um, in terms of, like, how she's trying to identify and accept herself, things that she wants to change about herself but the things that are you know things that she can't change about herself mm -hmm. and I felt like as I'm reading this I'm like hmm how will males relate to this book because I feel like this is a female character walking we're seeing life from her point of view mm -hmm. and I'm thinking huh how would guys appreciate this book and I'm like you know what let them read it 
I was like, let them read it. There's no, there's no girl book or no guy book. We go, they're going to read this book. Yeah. Because I think it's good for males to also see the insight, have insight on what, um, what may be the images and perceptions that females or women go through and um, how sometimes they play a, play a role in that. Yeah, you know? how men play a role in creating and that got, narrative. Creating that narrative. I'm like, let them read the book. They're going to read this book. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good book. Yeah. It is engaging and it's fast-paced. It, it keeps you going mm -hmm. constantly over and over and over again. Yeah. So I really, really enjoyed this book. I really enjoyed it and mm -hmm. I can't wait for Yeah, to... I was like thinking about it at work. I got right down like, oh, what's going to happen next? You know, it had me going even at work. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's one that you would actually stay up a little later just to finish it yeah. because you're like, oh man, I can't. Can and when you think you get to the end, you're like, just one more, just one more, yeah. just one more. And then you're like, oh man. It's like one of those Ben Watch shows. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is a Ben Watch book. Yeah. Ben, ben, Dream, ben Dream. Read. <laughs> That's Ben Read. This is a Ben Read book. Like you could read it straight, straight through, through and be like, okay, I got to put it down now. Yeah. yeah, so it was that intense, intense, that powerful. And I love how the author kept it real, relevant, engaging, relatable. Um, well written. Well written, well written mm -hmm. book. Yeah, so that definitely really good. So we have to say that Genesis Begins Again yeah. is, is aced. aced. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye. Bye.